I am back today with another lithium iron phosphate battery. This one is from Greener Power, Greener Power. Um, you know, <laughs> you guys got to come up with names, so why not that one? They have all their website information there, their contact information. This is just another 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, you know, 1280 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This was provided to me to review, um, as most of my batteries. I am going to get this thing hooked up to the CBA radio, or I mean the CBA battery analyzer, and we're going to go and get this tested. All this comes with is um, an extra set of terminals, some rubber caps to protect it in transit. These ones were already installed, which was kind of nice. You get a little backup pair. I like that. And then these little informational cards. You know, one of them is talking about share with us and kind of has some basic questions and answers about their warranty, and then can you charge and discharge the battery at the same time in a solar setup? <clears throat> Other than that, it just comes with a little fact sheet that kind of talks about the charge and discharge performance and gives you a little product overview, and then it has a service card. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all that's in the box. It is packaged fairly well. Um, Styrofoam is a little on the thin side, but the box is really thick and it arrived in perfect condition. There's not even any dents or anything on the boxes or the box, so should be good to go. Um, I do like these handles. They have a very satisfying snap. Obviously, these are going to wear out, you know, if you... It's not the thickest plastic, so they may break. But realistically, you're not moving a battery a ton, so I'm sure it'll hold up for the realistic use of them. Um, I, I prefer this to the straps. It just feels better in the hand. Those ones with the straps tend to pinch because the strap folds. This does not. I like that. So let me go ahead and get the battery analyzer hooked up and the settings going and we'll show you that. All right, I do have a complaint already. These were on so tight I had to go get a wrench and they're still on pretty tight. So yeah, um, <laughs> maybe, maybe don't clamp those down so hard or if you're going to ship this with terminals on it. Uh, do something that's like a Phillips head because not everybody's gonna have a wrench. I mean most people should but not everyone. All right Let me uh, keep doing this All right, so we've got everything set up here. Let me get rid of this pop-up And we've got the 100 amp hour. We're gonna do it as 10 amps draw down because that's all I can do with this one and Yeah, everything's set up. It detects the four cells. It's reading at 13.4 volts right now Which is pretty standard for these 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphates and Let's go. So <clears throat> we'll be back in 10 or 11 hours when this is done. Let's just watch it here for a second. Let me uh, get you over there. Yep, it's performing as, as it should. So I will see you guys again in 10 or 11 hours. So the test is completed here with the um, greener power, greener power. It's missing an E, so who knows. Uh, lithium iron phosphate 12.8 volt 100 amp hour battery. Uh, the front of the battery says 1280 amp hours. My test showed that it did 1355 and some odd watt hours. It came in at 105.413 amp hours. My test ran for 632 minutes at 10 amps an hour. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the battery. It doesn't have bells and whistles like Bluetooth or anything. Um, like I said, it does have those plastic handles, which I liked, but, you know, they will break over time. But again, you're probably not moving a battery like this around too often, so I'm sure they'll last for a decent amount of time. Again, my only complaint was the terminals were, like, bolted on there hardcore using actual bolts. Uh, not a problem for me, but for some, you know, it'd be nicer if they put Phillips head ones on there or something, at least for shipping. Or ship them with them loose. It actually came with an extra set in the box. So they could have done that. But, uh, yeah, I guess that was mainly to put the protective caps on. Other than that, that's it. Um, pretty good battery. If the price is right for you, maybe you're interested in it, maybe you're not. But I'll see you in the next video.